Right, welcome back to this channel, Gallery Digitals. It's all about growth. It's all about solutions. Start okay using your smartphone. That's 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 the drive. Helping you to um, grow your business and your personal brand with um, your phone. With your phone. Okay, so this is Pixel a smartphone design application and we've been working on um, the interface and introducing you to the interface in a series I mean in this series sorry so we just continue from where we stopped the last time okay and unless I forget my name is Gabriel all right so we continue from where we stop all right so in the last tutorial we talked about um, the function we are working on which is used to format and edit a shape or a picture right so when you have not selected a shape or a picture you have these six options to create or to import right and now we have them because we have selected the text happy sunday instead now look at the option look at the option look at this place right now look at this place now you discover that things will change Things will change now when I click on. Can you see? Now I have my options that I can work with. Right? Now. This one. Now, when I click on this particular image. Right? And when I click on this rectangle you will discover that there is a difference when I click on the picture all I add is reselect so let me try and click on that and click OK can you, can you see it's replacing that guy let me check let's check can you see it's replacing like I just checked the, the layer panel, the layer panel, right? So it has replaced. So that's what reselect does. It, it it will replace the image you have selected, right? But really, I don't want that. So I'm going to undo. Okay, great. So now, what's the next thing? Delete. I want to put it in a trash can as simple as that okay so you can decide to crop it maybe you don't want you just want the head alone all right you can crop it start okay and you can use dimensions they are predefined dimensions one by one 16 by 9 4 by 3 3 by 2 9 by 16 start okay Okay, just imagine you want to use 9 by 16. Start okay. So you can crop it as and you can change it to a circle by clicking this. Excuse me. By clicking this circular icon. Let me I like that. Okay. That circular icon okay so you change your crop to a circular frame using by clicking this start okay and you can decide to rotate it yes you rotate you rotate 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 all right so when you are cool with what you have done just 
Now the next one is copy. That is duplicate. You want to duplicate it? Can you see? You have another one here, right? Let me just delete it. I don't need it. All right. Then the next one is to front. To front is that you want to place it in front of every other element. So if I do that now. It's going to be in front you see now the next one is to back it's the opposite of to front it's going to be at the back of every other element can you see that is not visible it's not visible again because it is at the back of my background right so let me bring it to front okay all right the next thing is position position is used to um, to maintain a perfect um, to move perfectly right you can drag with your ends that's not a big deal right but there are times when you need to align your image properly in in some aspect in some specific um, specific distance one pixel two pixels so you make use of position position so you can see, move upward using the pixels you have selected, right? So it's as simple as that. So the next one is um, relative position, like the positioning as it's relative to your canvas, your working space. So we have four. We have far left far right down or we have middle horizontally and middle vertically right so you want you want to center a particular image to the very middle the, the very center of your design make use of this two of these two horizontal and and the um, vertical um, center alignment, right? Or center positioning. I believe you understand. All right. So it's as simple as that. Left, right, left. Sorry, far left, far right, down, up, horizontal, and vertical. Then you have it at the center. But I don't want mine at the center. I want it by the side side like this right okay let me just check that so okay now the next one is relative size relative size is um using reducing um giving you the it gives you the opportunity to increase the width or the height of a particular element a particular image or shape right so and you might want to en uh, enable men um, enable the maintain ratio option and that's that is going to maintain the aspect ratio that is um, imagine this picture is 7 by 8 right so if I increase the size it's still in multiples at in multiples of that 7 by 8 maybe 7 by 8 multiplied by 0 0.5 it's still a multiple so it's not going to lose the shape right so let me try to increase this guy now can you see as i'm increasing it as at 39 my height height was at 69 as at 71 my height is at 126 so it's maintaining what is maintaining the ratio right now let's let's let me put okay let me reduce this first okay now see what happens when I put this off let me increase the width can you see this is not cool this is not professional right so that's one whenever you want to make use of the relative size make sure your maintain ratio is ratio it's enabled right
So let's cancel this. I don't want it. Okay, so the next one is color. Right. Let's say I want to color. I want to give color to this guy. Right. I want to give color to these guys. Maybe I just want imagine um I'm designing a flyer for a program and um you just want an avatar of a person. You don't want the face to show at all. You, you, you are trying to raise the curiosity of your audience. Is that okay? So you are like, guess who the guest is. You, you know that kind of thing, right? So you can, you can actually do that for this. I think that's one of the ways, one of the reasons why you need to do this. But if you don't need to do this, there's no need of doing it. All right, I believe you understand. So, I want to disable it because I, I don't need to do it. Okay, so the next one is texture. The next one is texture. And it's simply um, giving your elements, your image, or your shape giving it um, a texture. Now, if I, okay, let me just, um, let me make use of, let's make use of this. Can you see? It's, it's uncalled for, right? So, but I can decide to make use of it on my on what's it called on a shape is that okay and say give me texture let's see I want this guy all right I see so it's as simple as that let me see Anything that is okay. and my test can come. Can you see? It's not cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, so that's that about that so let's meet in our next tutorial in this series don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button there is a lot we'll be um doing on this channel and you really don't want to miss it we'll be doing much on video editing content creation anything that will help your business and your personal brand is that okay so stay tuned and god bless you